Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at hydroelectricity. What is hydroelectricity? Hydroelectricity, or HEP, which stands for hydroelectric power, is the electricity generated from the flow of water passing through a dam. As I've just said, it can be referred to as HEP. The electricity is produced in a dam or a pumped storage system, which we're now going to explain. The hydroelectric dam is quite simple. As you can see, we have a basic dam which can let water flow through it and out of it. A river's flow in the valley is blocked by a construction which we call the dam. This dam is then a wall which is going to stop the flow of the river. Only gates are, that are going to open and are going to close allow the water to flow through it to the other side. The build-up of the blocked water behind the gates builds a reservoir, and this reservoir can be controlled with the flow. When a gate is opened and allows the flow to go in, Water flows through these pipes. Turbines are in the way of where the water is flowing and as a result turn as the water pushes it. These are then turned and when they do they are hooked up to a generator. When they turn the generator produces electricity. Now we'll look at a pumped storage system. Hydroelectric dams can be manipulated and changed into produce a pumped storage system. The difference is that there is an extra pipe in a pumped storage system which is going to pump the water back into the reservoir. This means that by opening the gates, even more electricity can be generated because we're putting more water back into the original generate into the original reservoir, that is, to turn the generator even more. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of using hydroelectric power. The advantages are that, of course, it's going to take away the dependence uh, on only one resource, no harmful uh, pollution is going to be produced, and the construction of the dam is going to provide jobs. It can also be used to control floods, which is quite useful because then you're not going to suffer from all of the socio and economic um, consequences of having a flood. However, it does destroy homes and animal habitats, and it may stop migration routes of animals. It costs a lot of, um, of money to build as well. For example, the Three Gorges Dam in China cost $25 billion. Also, creating the reservoir will likely flood the area first time round, which can then ruin any nearby crops and can also pe leave people homeless if it floods their homes. Here are some questions on hydroelectric power. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on geothermal energy. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.